glory that awaits you is bigger than the problems you are facing right now. The glory that is ahead of you is bigger than the problems that you are going through right now. Hi guys, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining me today. For those who are new, karibu tena sana. For those who are old, thank you so much for your continued support. I really, really do appreciate. Uh, so guys, after Jesus has taught the disciples how to pray, according to Luke chapter 10, uh, chapter 11, verse 9, uh, he went ahead and told them, Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened for you. Ask and it shall be given. I know this word, you have heard it over and over again, but I want you to hear it once again because I want you to understand the power of God and I want you to understand when God meant that when we seek, we shall find, when we knock, the door shall be opened for us, and when we um, we ask, it shall be given unto us. So at this time that we don't know what to do, our houses are being closed, we have uh, so many needs, I want you to trust in God this time. This is the perfect time for you to trust God. This is the perfect time for you to challenge God with his own word. Yes, challenge him with his own word. Just tell him, God, no, I cannot sleep hungry. And you said, we ask and it shall be given unto us. Gold and silver belongs to you. I cannot uh, sleep outside because uh, my house has been closed, because I don't have rent, because gold and silver belongs to you. And you said that we should ask and it shall be given unto us. You said that we should knock and the door shall be opened for you. You said that we should seek and we shall find god i'm seeking you i'm seeking for your help right now you are our refuge let me tell you one thing guys god says that we should ask and it shall be given unto us that we should seek and we shall find that we should knock and the door shall be opened for you and this bible verse just reminded me about hannah hannah prayed for so many years hannah prayed for so many years she did not give up she did not give up and eventually god heard her prayers maybe you've prayed for so many years maybe you have, you have prayed for your uh, situation maybe maybe you have prayed for your circumstances don't give up don't give up pray harder seek him harder Go deeper to his word. Remind him of his word. Don't give up. Yes, you've prayed for 20 years. So what? Don't give up. You cannot give up the 20 years that you have been praying just because uh, you are, you are, uh, your prayers have not been answered. No. You've been praying for two years. Nothing has happened. Don't give up. Pray. Pray harder. Go deeper into his word. Remind him of his word. Remind him of his promises. Remind him of what he says. And he will do it. Knock. Seek. Challenge God with his own word. Yes, guys. Challenge him with his own word. This is the perfect time for us to understand God. This is the perfect time for us to seek God. This is the perfect time for us to... Uh, uh, to be increased physically, emotionally, and spiritually. This is the perfect time for you to have a close relationship with God. Trust in Him. Trust in His own words. Trust in God. God is not a man that He should lie. No, He doesn't lie. When He says He will do something, He will do it. Trust in God. When things are, when you are backs are behind the walls and everything everything seems to be going against you trust in god pray knock and the door shall be open for you seek and you shall find he is the mighty man in battles he is the master of the world he is the creator of everything that we see he is the creator of all that crawl and all that flies when he says he will do it he will do it let me tell you guys one thing. Let me encourage you today. 
that God knows our needs. He knows everything that we want, but he wants us to ask. He knows that you need rent, but he wants you to ask. He knows that you need to eat, but he wants you to ask. He is a great God. When you ask, he's faithful enough to give unto you. When you ask, he will give it unto you. He will not deny you. Anything that you need this time, just ask God. Pray to God. Trust in him. Seek him. That's all he wants. He wants to be found in our hearts. He wants to be found in everything. He wants to be glorified in us. And trust me, everything will turn out to be the better than the best. Seek and the doors will be open. Knock, ask. When he says, I will deliver, he will deliver. He knows your laughter. He knows your cry. He is the source of your power. But one thing he wants to do, he wants you to pray. He wants you to ask him. Just tell him, no, God, gold and silver belongs to you. And you say, when we seek, we shall find. And you say, when you knock, the door shall be opened for us. When we pray, and when we ask, it shall be given unto us. God, I need rent. Give me rent. He will give you because you have asked. Don't assume that because God knows you need rent, he will automatic give, uh, automatically give it unto you. No, you have to ask. He knows that you need food, but you have to ask him. He knows that you need what you need, but you have to ask him. You have to knock at that door. You have to pray to God. You have to be persistent. Don't lose hope. This is the last time that you're supposed to lose hope. This is the last time. If everything uh, seem like it's not working out, trust him, seek him, find him. Things will work out for you. He wants to be found. He wants you to knock at his door. He wants you to seek him. He will be found. My dear friends, just pray. Trust in God. The moments are tough. The situations are so confusing. But trust in God, either in this incarnation or in, a, in any other, trust in God. Pray. Knock. Seek. And ask. Just don't lose hope. You cannot lose hope. The glory that awaits you is bigger than the problems you are facing right now. The glory that is ahead of you is bigger than the problems that you are going through right now. You cannot give up right now, no. He hasn't bring you this far to leave you here, no. He is faithful. Just trust him, pray, seek him. And ask. He is our God. He is our daddy. He is our everything. So guys, thank you so much for today. And I hope you will seek him. You will knock at his door. And you will uh, find him. Trust me, you will find him. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Every Sunday, make sure you tune in. And we will discuss so many issues. So thank you so guys for your time. I really do appreciate. May God really bless you. Mm -hmm. God bless you guys. Bye bye.